Hey, what's up, Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so um, let's see what the energy is like for you today. Don't forget, flip your rolls. Take what you need and leave what you don't need, okay? Look at this. Attachment, reverse, the angel of love, upright. And I've seen it. I think it's the cornucopia card. Yep, in the cornucopia. So I feel like you may have released an attachment, okay? Um, a pattern, a behavior, or something like that, right? Um, and again, flip your rolls. Don't force it to fit. All right, and if um, you ain't with it, skip it. So with the attachment card in the reverse position, it basically says... It's a wonderful indicator that an old negative pattern, relationship, or desperate attitude is being released. As you continue to let go, you'll be able to establish new ways of doing things and relating to others. The universe wants to congratulate you on your healthy new approach, but be sure to support the changes you're making in your ongoing choices. Some patterns can be deeply encoded, and you may need to continue releasing the old habits, all the while honoring the new decisions in your thoughts, your actions, and interactions with others. You've broken the chains, and now you can walk away from the limiting attach attachments into a bright and unlimited future. Kudos, Virgo. Okay, so you've broken the chains to some type of old negative pattern or a relationship or a desperation, right? And you're choosing your peace, okay? Um, this is an ultimate indicator of self-love. You're loving yourself first. You're putting yourself first, okay? Um, and guess what? Cornucopia, this is like your wish fulfillment. I don't know if y'all seen it. I feel like I had it extra close to the screen. But um, yeah, that's about your wish fulfillment. So great blessings and abundance and all of that stuff um, is coming to you. The seeds you planted in the past, they're ready to harvest now. So again, this is good energy, Virgo. I want to pull um, tarot, of course, just to kind of see. What's happening here? Tell me about this situation. What did Virgo release? You may have also released the pattern of yours for to be able to build a um, healthy relationship or connection or something here with someone. Yep, King of Cups comes out. Okay, so to me, the the King of Cups is about emotional balance, okay? So instead of you being cold, um, manipulative, or, you know, out of balance, I feel like you chose a more diplomatic approach to whatever is happening here. Um, more empathetic approach. Yeah, five of swords in the reverse position in the wheel of fortune. So you may have had a falling out with somebody, right? Like check th check this out. Check out the Libra reading I just did, okay? Because this talks about this same thing. But you may have had a falling out with somebody, right? And instead of you taking the same approach that you normally would, you did something a little different here, okay? I feel like you um you were balanced. You were balanced, most definitely. Um, I feel like you uh, kind of navigated away from the negative energies. So instead of being mad, walking away, you know, upset, um, whatever the negative emotion may be, you did the opposite. It's like you all, you tried to, you know, y'all had y'all falling out. You chose a more positive route. Like, you know, um, my bad, I didn't mean to you know, uh, offend you. My bad. I didn't mean to, you know, cause any conflict. That wasn't my intention. So, you know, you, you had a desire to make sure that you guys were able to, to keep the peace. Okay. Um, with the situation. So boom, guess what? The wheel is turning. Wheel of fortune, right? So again, things are going to be okay though. So don't worry about it. You took, how can I say it? It's like you chose correctly. You chose correctly. And so now this cycle is closing out for you. Okay. So this was all a part of, um, how can I put it? It felt like it was divinely orchestrated. Thank you. <laughs> this was inevitable. Like this had to happen this way. Um, and the way I'm seeing it is like, 
it was already written okay and you just played the role in the story that the divine already wrote for you okay <laughs> so you did the right thing all right just let's just put it that way you did the right thing okay now um i like that ah tell me about the angel of love page of wands in the reverse yeah so whatever is happening here somebody could have been procrastinating it could have, it could be some type of delays um poor communication or something here you or you could have heard something that just you know didn't set well with you okay um yeah whatever this communication is that came through tell me what i need to see or whatever didn't come through shit because you might have didn't hear any communication right um from this situation and so again like i said i feel like some type of argument or something may have or disagreement may have came out of this um yeah nine of cups is in a reverse position so you definitely were dissatisfied okay so whatever happened yeah you were dissatisfied with it boom tower moment boom higher form so yes the tower spell Definitely feeling like an unwelcoming change. But at the same time, it's like whatever this disaster was, <laughs> it also pushed an awakening. Okay. And you already know when the towers fall, it's all right. You can always rebuild. Right. But this is something here where I feel like this is where the real growth happens. You stepped outside of your comfort zone. You did something that you normally wouldn't do. You handled the situation from a different way, a different perspective, okay? So this was all a part of the process. It's like you chose here to embrace the conventional here and follow a certain process here, right? Because you're all, you are you are on this journey, right? I feel like you recognize here that you are the higher font. You are the leader. You are the teacher. You are the counselor. You are the guide, right? So that means as well that you got to follow a certain order, Um you got to trust. You got to forgive, right? Because <laughs> you got this ultimate wisdom at the end of the day. So this is why the divine has orchestrated whatever the situation may have happened, right? Just to see how in alignment you are with your personal beliefs, um, with the tradition that you're following, you know, um, with its... I don't want to say rules because it's necessary. It's almost like, you know, you kind of the you you kind of establish your own set of values and belief systems and things like that. But of course, these are something that you are teaching to other people. OK, so um, or you're helping other people with this is why this great blessing and abundance is going to be coming in your life, because, again, you are um, in alignment with that path. Yep, the higher part, you're in alignment with it. Seven of Cups, you chose right. Two of Wands in the reverse. So instead of instead of choosing um, or the illusions, let's just put it that way. Playing it safe, you know what I'm saying? It's, you took a chance. You made a choice. And it wasn't a poor choice, okay? So this is good. That's the first step. That's one of the steps. I ain't going to say first. That's just one of the steps here um, to your journey, all right? And then, look, I got the victory card sitting here. It's like, come on now. Cycle close, okay? Virgo, you release an attachment here um, or a pattern or something that has put you on the right path. And, yeah, you good, Virgo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, like, super excited because... You know, Virgo, we came a long way, all right? I'm a Virgo, too. We came a long way, right? So it's been one hell of a journey. Like, this is for real boot camp, okay? And you're learning, you're growing, and you're evolving, and you getting it. And these are the type of readings that I want to hear, all right? So I thank you again for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to my YouTube as well. And I love you guys. Peace.